Ya waktu ini sampai dekat ini ya. Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. It's been a while. Yeah, we are the Marine. Hope you missed us. I hope so. Yeah. Um okay, um today we are going to talk about um, the important conversations you should have before committing into a relationship or marriage. So either like the things you <laughs> the things that you, you should focus on, you should talk about with your partner or potential husband in this case. Um what are the things that their values, the many things that you should have a conversation about before you settle down with more ha. Yeah. So should you will you start or should you? No, you can start. Okay. okay. For me I'm going to start with um finances. I think before you settle down you should know um their financial position, whether they are in debt, whether because at the end of the day let's say you're getting married to this guy or this woman uh and they're and they're in debt. If they die if they die and you're the wife, I think the loans and all those will go onto your side, right? Yeah, that's is, yeah. yeah, so so it, it's for you not to be surprised you should talk about it before marriage. And um how they also handle their finances. Are they like uh savers, spenders? Um yeah, all those uh, aspects of finances and your uh, also the point the other point which is part of the, the finances part mm -hmm. is also during let's say you now you decided to date you're planning for marriage you talk about also what they how much do you think they can part with for even like let's say functions like weddings because mm -hmm. i'm sure people have different uh, ideologies about how to how to look at uh, those ceremonies in terms of finances as well yeah. Actually, finances are very, it's a Wonder. very important. Yeah, it's a very important aspect. Yeah. Actually, we should have had this entire conversation and finances, it. but <laughs> we should. Yeah. Next time. But anyway, um, I'll just want to talk about finances. But the other thing would be um, um, someone's um, perspective, like mental perspective. Mm -hmm. What's your, as in, how do you? But what's your perspective about certain things? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is it a poor man's perspective mm -hmm. or a rich man's perspective? Okay. Um, it also kind of relates, okay, some part of it relates to finances, but um, you may find, let's say, uh, a man or woman who is not, let's say, wealthy or doesn't have uh, money then or is not wealthy then. But they are, they are perspective, they are visionary, they can easily, like when you look at that person like this guy, in the next three future. years, we are going to be fine. This man or this woman can really manage the family, despite the fact that whether they are or not, you can yeah. And then, um, the other thing is, you have a flexible mind, for me, that is very important, because um, there are people you have a conversation with, and they are really, really rigid. They are not feeling really the same. Mm -hmm. They are not feeling the land. So you're like, okay. All right. That means you're going to be a yes, yes partner in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, yet um, you need to actually be friends. You need to learn from each other. You need to get each other. Like, you agree to disagree. Like, you yeah, know, it's a yeah. Because it's a relationship. Yeah. yeah. My other one would be about children because I think, um, and also in this part of children, whether they can compromise. Let's say, for instance, someone is not willing, to, they are not planning to have kids because lately there is that work perspective of not having kids or whatever. Like that. So you should have a discussion of whether they want kids and how many kids, but in terms of how many that can be made, one of them can compromise and you get a out um, a middle level for the the, the, the kids that you want to have mm. um, like surrogates yeah. and all that. there is um, not in terms of surrogates mm. because I think for surrogates mm. yeah you can also be willing like, they, she can have kids but she decided to have a surrogate 
-hmm. But I, I'm talking in terms of, mm -hmm. let's say my my man doesn't want to have kids. But for me, I want kids. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big deal to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for instance, if I want, let's say two, he wants four. Mm -hmm. We can have like let's say three or four. One of us can compromise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's that's key. Yeah. And then um, I'll just talk about. I'll talk about okay um so for me um I would I'd want us to discuss about career um yeah because it's very important yeah. you know you find um a partner who is really really career mm -hmm. like focused eh? they would do anything to get to the highest level they would actually leave the family behind mm -hmm. so Yet for me, as an individual, I'd expect us to like raise the family together, mm -hmm. and yeah, make ends meet in one way or the other together as a family, because that's what family is all, is all about. Yeah. So, yet um, the, the you also find another person who would actually prefer um, let's say their partner you know, to be into a professional job. But rather focus on business again. So I would want us, me and my man, to sit down and talk about this and like work out stuff together. What will work out for us today? Because yeah. at the end of the day, most of the times, um, especially the ladies in a relationship, have to give up so much to make the family or the relationship work out. Yeah. So we we need to discuss that issue. Okay, my other point would be um, education. Um, in, in in this term, I meant like um, if if let's say one of one one of us, me or my partner, want to further their careers, their education. I mean, let's say if we go for PhD, what all that, it will affect our finances. So we need to discuss first beforehand. What are your plans? Are you still planning to study? Are you still like planning to do this and this in terms of the education? Because also, if they are planning to study after, let's say, we started having kids, and, like it will it, it will strain the family financially because there are also kids who will be down to study and all that. So, discussing about education, we also have like let's say the limits, which they time limits, let's say. Um, within the next two years you should have finished this and this in terms of the education before we start the family and kids and all that i think yeah i think it's an important important thing to talk about um for me <laughs> the other thing is family and custom it okay i i get i get really hurt let's say to to when i discuss with some people and they tell you i don't like my mom's family or I don't want to learn his language or you know it, it really amuses me because i believe by the time you decide to settle with someone yeah, like get married to someone you are actually willing or you have considered yourself to be part of them yeah. and their culture so um for me as i'm i'm too african <laughs> i wouldn't want the culture to die out because i'm proudly african so I would want, okay, whichever nationality or whichever um, tribe, tribe, not even tribe, or even sect of the world, mm -hmm. my man will be coming from. Because, okay, in Africa, we know that kids belong to the man side. I would want my kids to adopt the father's customs and cultures. So I would want to actually sit down, discuss it, be part of it. Let me get to know how I can learn it. You get it. Okay get deep in it and yeah so that in the next 28 years <laughs> africa is not dead or the culture is not dead because you're having intermarriages yeah for well, it's very important yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. that's the language meanwhile yeah. <laughs> i want my kids to speak that local language yeah. yeah um my other point would be religion because religion is also a very big issue because at the end of the day also that will be part of how you're raising your kids if we decide to let's say settle down with a Christian or a Muslim, like it's the you can be conflicting in so many ways. I know there are other people who've gotten married to 
different religions and stuff but personally i think it's it's a big deal it's actually a deal breaker <laughs> if it's from another religion now in terms of now like um in the um adventist or those will of course okay i don't know i'm making an assumption you have become that's the same way you said you're becoming part of the man's family so i would expect for you to join the yeah so of course now that is where you should you should be you should discuss it first hand before you decide to date because now if you're not willing to be a muslim and the guy is a muslim you're exactly. not willing to be a catholic and the guy is a catholic or hindu or whatever so mm. yeah yeah and also the uh, okay the wheel uh likes dislikes the sum I I feel like the sum things that um, we we may not be able to compromise, especially if it, if you're emotionally attached. Let's say if one is a dog lover, one is a plant lover, yeah. one is like those those small small bits. Eh? Yeah. So um, as as a lady or as a gentleman. Are you willing to let go of those emotional attachments? I, I feel like yeah. you need to sit down with your partner and discuss. Okay, honey. Um, okay, when you settle and one day you find me with a dog, are yeah. you are you okay with or, it? It's or also going to be part of the allergy. You could be allergic to it. Exactly. So, like, I feel like you need to discuss all these issues. Like, personally, I have issues with cats. I don't know if, if my man is cat lover because my cats want to be all over but i don't know but what those are things <laughs> exactly <laughs> so you i feel like we, we as humans need to sit down and discuss some of these people yeah. yeah and there is some one of the most important things there are some particular tests i know love has to conquer all but there are some particular tests i i feel like are very important Medi like medical medical yeah, yeah biologically yeah. to test whether you actually yeah. compatible with your partner instead of getting into a marriage and maybe you can't conceive or you get kids who have particular disabilities just because of compatibility yeah so yeah i know love has to be there but as the bible says <laughs> it uh, the lord commanded husbands to love their wives not to love their girlfriend so I believe we're obliged to love our husbands. But your even girlfriend is your neighbor. You know I mean like no I'm just in terms of dating now you're not the wife. Yeah you're not yes. the wife but okay we shall we shall talk about love later but <laughs> I feel like we need to put our brains to work before saying I do and before accepting to go into a forever commitment because I believe I want to be in there forever yeah, okay, that's it. yeah. <laughs> okay that's all for me unless we still have another one mm, no. I'll, I'll talk about the rest in the next video <laughs> <laughs> okay um, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment below what you want yeah, us to talk about yeah feel free <laughs>